announced today. 250,000 GPUs is a very large number. Um, it will be it will be uh, used for everything from uh, training and creating Korea's sovereign AI, building Korea's AI startup ecosystem, uh, supporting science and research here in Korea. Uh, of course, uh, the government and and then all the industries, everything from healthcare to uh, 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 automobiles to uh, digital twins of factories and building chips and uh, building ships and you know every single industry will be impacted and so uh, that, that was that was the second and um, uh, and of course you saw the big partnerships that I announced with Samsung and SK and Hyundai and Naver and, and not to mention Korean government is one of the first governments literally the first government to invest in 50,000 GPUs for the Korean government. And so that's a very big, very big initiative. I'm really, really uh, honored to be part of, of uh, building AI for Korea. So now that you're you are pitting Samsung against SK Hilux when it comes to a high bandwidth memory chip, would that bring down prices, better market story for NVIDIA? We're going to be growing so fast. It's really rare that a company as large as NVIDIA has grown, had grows at such incredible rates and scale. And so the opportunity for all of us is really quite significant. It's going to take the partnership of all of the, all of the makers of HBM4 really to support our growth. And so I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for everything that they've done uh, to build the capacity necessary for our growth. They're both going to do incredibly well. You mentioned that the Chinese government. You mentioned that the Chinese government. I'm going to take. I'm going to take one more, right? Yes. And then I'm going to. Is that okay? It's okay. Um, President Trump was actually looking for you when he was speaking right here. Um, did you talk to President Trump this week about your Korea agenda, expressing your perhaps a disappointment over uh, what you didn't get from the U.S. or China bilateral? Um, it turned. It, it, I missed. I tried to get to Korea as fast as I could, um, but I happened to be in Washington D.C. doing a major event, um, uh, our our largest conference in Washington D.C. And so, uh, as far as fast as I could get back to get to Korea to support him, uh, unfortunately he, he he was already finished. And I, I, uh, we, he knows he knew everything that I was going to announce. Uh, here in Korea, uh, President Lee knew everything I was going to announce, and uh, they're all really proud of the announcement, and they're really, really pleased that we're investing so much American technology, and we're going to make such large investments here in Korea. And so President Lee was very supportive. President Trump was very supportive. Uh, I'm delighted by the success uh, of the uh, of the summit that they had uh, between President Trump and President Xi. Uh, just from reading, uh, like everybody else, it sounded like it was a, a huge success. Uh, I, I don't know uh, what they spoke about or didn't speak about, uh, and I'm looking forward to learning more over time. You mentioned, that the, you. Chinese, you mentioned that the Chinese government blocked the H-20. What do you think the real market opportunity 